Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. We've been talking about the moment we die. We said that uh, all of us have an appointment with death, and none of us know when that appointment is, but it behooves all of us to be about our Father's business, because uh, as sand through an hourglass, so our lives are eventually going to run out. And, uh, and for some of us, it's going to be sooner than later, so it behooves us to buy up as much as we can. We always used to say that Carpe Diem sees the day, sees every opportunity we can to bring glory to Jesus Christ. And today we want to continue on that theme and talking about that idea of Hebrews chapter 927 where it says, it is appointed unto man once to die and after this, the judgment. We all have an appointment. We don't know when that appointment is. And you know, and there's been a lot of speculation. There's false theology out there saying that we have will have another chance um, after we die that the uh, Catholic doctrine of purgatory or um, limbo that idea that uh, man will be given another chance to uh, rectify their relationship with God after they die they can pay off their sin in a place called purgatory and uh, depending on how you lived here and uh, the amount of sins you've sinned in your life, that is how much time you'll spend in purgatory before you finally get to heaven. And that's simply not true. It says, for it is appointed unto man once to die and after this the judgment. The judgment is, is if you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, you're going to stand before the great white throne of judgment and you're going to be judged on how you've lived, and then you'll spend an eternity in eternal damnation. There is no purgatory. Now, if you're a believer, you'll stand at the uh, judgment seat of Christ for your reward as you enter into heaven. And so there is no second chance. It behooves all of us to uh, to be ready. The The Jewish uh, community um, has, a, uh, has a saying. It says, uh, better to be one year early than to be 10 minutes too late. Better to be one year too early than be 10 minutes too late. And certainly when it comes to salvation, that is so true. Uh, so many people want to put it off uh, receiving Christ. They believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but they don't want to change. They don't want to repent of their sins. They like the life that they're in. They don't want to forsake it. They say they'll get saved later on. They'll put the decision off for another time. But eventually, it's going to be too late. As the as the old Jewish saying is, you're better to be early than to be late. And because there is going there's not going to be a second chance. Now is the time. The Bible says, now is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. You know what? If you've not trusted Christ as your Savior, listen. You're you're making you're you're gambling with your eternal future, the eternal future. There is nothing, no nothing, no nothing on this earth that compares to your eternal soul. That is worth gambling with your eternal soul. It is not. There's nothing on this earth that uh, that uh, there's no relationship. There's no sexual addiction. There's no uh, drug addiction. There's no alcohol addiction. There's no uh, amusement on this earth that can compare to what Jesus Christ did for you on that cross. If you're willing to repent of that sin and trust Christ as your Savior, you need to bow your head right now and receive him as your Savior because eventually that sand that we talked about yesterday is going to run out and you will stand before uh, the great white throne of judgment and you will be you will be sentenced to eternal damnation if you reject your uh, if you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior. And if that's you, why don't you bow your head and say, Father, in Jesus' name, I repent of my sins. I repent of my lifestyles. I don't want to live this way anymore. Please forgive me of my sins. Please come into my life and save me now and save me forever. Make me eternally yours. I receive Jesus Christ as my Savior today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.